For practice at exercise 6.5 collapse spaces, we are asked to write a static method named collapse spaces that accepts a scanner representing the file as a parameter and writes the file's text, so this, to the console like this. So we're given all of these different spaces and tabs and new lines and we just have to write it like this. So basically we're just trimming down all of these tabs and all of these spaces to just be a single space in between each token or word. So to do this, we're gonna start by making our method. We'll have a public static void because it's not returning anything and then the method name collapse spaces. So in our method, we need to run this for every single line. That way we can get each line of output. Um, the way I'm going to do this is use a um, while loop that will run run this for every single line. And then after um, or inside of this, um, once we are inside the current line, we can use a scanner to scan this current line and then break apart the tokens and add a space in between. So like I said, we're going to start with a while loop, and it's going to run as long as our parameter, which should be scanner, we'll call it scan, has a next line. That way we can get the current line and look at that individually. Well, the easiest way that, or the only way I could think of to do this is to use a scanner to get this entire line of output and then get rid of all of the spaces and then go in and add the spaces. So we will have a string and we will call this temp because it will store the temporary temporary um, line and then we'll set this equal to scan dot next line. That way it stores this entire line in here. We're using the first line as an example and then we're going to make a scanner to read through this line. We'll call it um, read, or we'll call it uh, line, because it will be in our line, and we'll set it equal to new scanner. And in here, we are just going to scan the string temp. That way, we scan the string and remove all of the spaces. And after we do this, we'll have a while loop that will run as long as line dot has next so like we said we use a scanner to break apart this line and just get the tokens or the individual strings we have three strings in here so this while loop is going to run three times in this while loop this is where we're going to print out so we'll have a system dot outs dot print line or not print line it's just going to be print because we are printing out each of these tokens and we're going to run this as long as the current line um, has um, a string or a token. So we'll have line dot next. And then we are going to have a space, a single space in between each of these. After this while loop executes, or after this entire line is written, we need a new line. So we're just going to go outside of this while loop, still in this while loop, and do a system dot out dot print line just to give us a new line and if we submit this we can see that we've passed the test so this code will give us the desired output for this problem